Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to recreate Kylie Jenner's pose and makeup. Or we can say this video is all about recreation of Kylie Jenner or inspired look. Kylie Jenner's inspired look. <laughs> In this video, I'm just going to use my personal brands that I love to achieve Kylie Jenner's look. And now, as you can see, I had moisturizers on. That's why my skin is really radiant and glowing. But before we get into that, let's proceed on to my favorite primer. My favorite primer is Hourglass. Biel Mineral Primer Broad Spectrum SPF 50. So let me put a little amount in my hands and my face. So guys, this routine before I apply my primer on, I make sure that my skin is moisturized or I always use my Medicube device to have less skin and I just have I just love putting moisturizer for my primer so we're not yet done after this Viel Mineral Primer so you can see it has like you know the Instagram effect it gives more luminous effect the next primer that I'm gonna use is LA Girl Pro Prepped. So yes, I use double primer. It's just that this silicone-based primer helps to cover my pores because I have large pores. So we are going to hide. Large pores, baby. In this area, like this zone. Next step, foundation. For tonight, I'm gonna use number seven, Lift and Luminate Triple Action Foundation Serum. I'm using a dumb, dumb sponge or dumb, dumb, <laughs> dumb sponge. So, you know, this foundation is giving me a vibe of, it's giving me a vibe of Dior Forever Glow, but, but this one is has other benefits like serum so it's a good dupe for your forever glow i'm using a dumb sponge so we can evenly distribute distribute the, the foundation so it won't look too heavy on face because here we are achieving no makeup, makeup look, but no makeup, makeup look, but copying um, or recreating Kylie Jenner's look. I mean, we're trying to achieve no makeup look. I think I'm the kind of girl like loves wearing makeup, but don't want to look like. Oh, <laughs> what happened? I'm the kind of girl that loves wearing makeup but doesn't want to look wearing heavy makeup. Like, you get the point. But anyway, okay, we're putting this foundation on up to my neck because we don't want dark neck. 
so make sure you evenly distribute the foundation to even out the skin. So I think it's done. Next step, we are going to hide my dark under eye circles using Bior Skin Glow in the shade of I forgot the shade 1.5 W so normally I don't put concealer so I consider putting a light foundation under my eye I think that's enough for me to cover it because I don't like heavy foundation as much as possible I want to look like do we yes um i love dewy foundation you see so instead of concealer i'm using a lighter foundation shade so yeah instead of using concealer use this and i prefer dewy foundation it's just that for me when using um dewy foundation it looks more natural it looks it looks more younger to your face rather than applying matte foundations I don't know just I think it's just a matter of preference you know I just love dewy like the number seven it's also it, it is dewy foundation that's why I keep using it for everyday use The blush I'm using now is Into It Cream Blusher in the shade of. I don't know the shade. Well, it's BCL03 blush. I don't know the shade. <laughs> but before we get into our powder, we just need to trust the process. I love. Paint blush because I don't know when I use paint blush normally by the way when I put my blush on <laughs> I love putting it like I had a sun kiss or I went to the beach you know that vibe because I don't know just giving me a vibe of a vibe yeah So yeah, I forgot this video. We are copying Scully Jenner's makeup. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I put a lot of um cream blush, but after after we finish our makeup, it will you know subside or the color will a little bit reduced. Or it, it, it it's not too colorful that's what I meant because you think it's too too much on um too much blush on but it's not you just have to trust the process I look like a clown now <laughs> In this picture, her eyebrows is on fleck, so let's try to copy it. The on fleck eyebrows, but me personally, you can use every any pencil for your brows, and then I want to make it bush, bushy like this. Yeah, because it's a little bit bushy here. Just a push. A little bit bushy. Inside. So my eyebrows, I'm going to use this powder. 
just to set my eyes before I used to bake but now I prefer just setting the foundation so we're not we're skipping we're skipping the the blush on part so we just get into a t-zone area <laughs> i remember the video i was watching a few days ago because i was just scrolling youtube shorts and th there's a guy and a girl like she's he's uh, asking the girl about carl's is why the voice it was just like same she was asking the girl what is this car car and she answered Volkswagen. <laughs> so funny for me. So yeah. I just use by the way L'Oreal. And then it goes along the way. I just stop. So when you when you set your foundation, make sure you're just stopping it, you know? So you won't erase the product that you put on. Just stop. Tap 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 in. Tap tap in. Volkswagen. Porsche. <laughs> now I'm gonna set the blush on that I put on earlier. Using a powder blush, so yes, instead of putting a foundation here, I just use cream powder blush to set the crease. <laughs> I look like a clown now, but yeah, makeup is all about trusting the process. I'd rather trust my makeup. Than you, <laughs> than my ex. <laughs> does it does it look like someone punched me too much? Wait for it. Now we are going to proceed on contouring. You know the for the purpose of contouring it makes your face more pop up <laughs> I mean when you contour it's um I don't know what do you call it I forgot I have a Nisha on It makes your features pop out. I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, example this jawline. If we contour this area, it will keep more snatch. That's the right term. Snatch. Snatch jawline. So we are going to... Contour, so our face will look snatch and smaller. <laughs> Let me try and cup this collagen right. Hmm, always there. In her look here, she's just wearing. A pink, pink and brown eyeshadow. So we're going to copy that. So if you're in a budget and you don't have eyeshadows, you can use the blush. 
blush powder to have eyeshadow and white. So, yeah. <laughs> Proceed on brown. No, <laughs> that half. So I think we can do soft. If you don't have brown eyeshadow as well, you can use your contour palette to create a nice flam. Shadow like Patty Shadow. You see? <laughs> Normally, I don't put eyeshadow because um, for me, eyeshadow is a little bit heavy. But since we're creating Kelly Jenner's look, we ain't skipping. I think her eyeshadow have glitters on. So we're gonna put some glitters on here. Like hers. Just a little bit. Just give me a reason. You know why I don't put eyeshadow too much? Like what I said, for me it's heavy, and I don't know. For me, when you put eyeshadow, it means you are attending big event or big parties. So if you're using eyeshadow every day, I think it's not it's not good, especially if you're not attending big events. changes so I'm using my hand we're going to have a highlight here on my nose so it will appear more pointed because her nose Kylie Jenner's nose is pointed so <laughs> she puts highlights on her nose so we're gonna try to copy the nose contour This is how I contour my nose. So you don't have to follow make up step by step as long as you know how to do your makeup that soothes your face. That's the most important. Kylie Jenner loves mascara, so we are going to volumize our mascara like hers. See? And I'm going to put also mascara on my waterline. You will see the changes after this mascara. Oops. <laughs> I 
it's just funny this um I used to have long hair my waterline area it's giving me a vibe of cockroach spit look so funny by the way I have to share something with you on her look she also put some highlighter pink highlighter I guess this is pink highlighter so I think this makeup look it's more on pink I'm gonna put a pink highlighter then. So we have to kind of have a little bit face, you know, like you see the difference. Just a girl that loves makeup. Her lips, I think she put on lip liner. This is color brown, and also it's almost pink lipstick. So we're gonna copy that also. Using, I'm using. Using brown liner, just brown liner to to make lips more bigger. I have full lips, but lip liner makes your lips more full, fuller. If you know what I mean. See? <laughs> so just apply the brush it all. Way too bigger. giving me a vibe of dark lips now we are going to apply lip tint this is the picture it looks pink Oh 
Oh my god, so pouty. And going to put lip balm. Actually, yeah, this makeup look is my everyday makeup look. It's it looks more natural and not too heavy. And of course, to lack all the makeup that we put on. The secret. Okay. Oh, I love Charlotte Tilbury. Whew. I'll just finish my hair and then I'll be right back. Hope you liked my video and again, thanks for watching.